So in this video, we're gonna be going over the Backpackers Travel Guide 101. So if you've ever gone backpacking, you'll know it's the coolest thing in the world. Okay, so it might not be the coolest thing in the world, Elon Musk might be the coolest thing in the world, but backpacking is a lot of fun. And if you don't like Elon Musk, you better let me know in the comments. If you do or you don't, if you do, give me a like. If you don't, give me a comment. But anyway, um, you should totally subscribe to this channel if you want to see other cool videos, cool vlogs, and a lot of cool stuff. Um, but when it comes to backpacking, one thing you need to know is you need to be open-minded. You have to be more open-minded than you are in other settings because if you're backpacking, stuff is gonna go wrong, you're gonna meet different people, you're gonna face situations that are not easy to overcome and you're gonna have to figure out how to overcome them. Um, you're gonna have to be willing to grow, you're gonna have to be willing to get outside your comfort zone and just get challenged in general. It's I love it so much because I grow so much when I backpack and when I travel because I'm meeting new people, I'm going through new experiences, I'm exploring you know, new ideas and the world, and just it's, just, it's just very freeing to be able to just travel the world and not be constricted by a lot of things that, you know, kind of, kind of hold you back sometimes. Um, I love having a job, you know, I love having you know, family and I love having, you know, learning and studying and stuff. But if I can take these things on the road, I totally can and I totally will. So if like, if you can develop a community online or with the people that you're traveling with or people you meet along the traveling, it's great if you can keep in contact with your good friends and family and visit them along your travels. That's phenomenal. And you have more stories and adventures and ideas to share. So the next thing you definitely need to know is when you're traveling, you have to you have to just be a little bit more prepared, but not too prepared. And it's kind of like a contradiction, but like you have to be almost like prepared to be unprepared. So you have to be like you know prepare, bring your stuff, you know pack your bag. But like when it comes to packing stuff, you're generally bringing too much. You might be too prepared for that, but you have to mentally prepare yourself for situations that arise that aren't good. Like. Um, I would definitely recommend when you're backpacking or traveling, have multiple wallets or purses, whatever you carry, because uh, the one that I carry around with me all the time, I only generally have one, one credit card or debit card, some cash, not too much, and maybe one ID. So you don't need that much, and if you have extra IDs, if you have, um, if you have more cash, if you have more credit cards or debit cards, Definitely put that extra stuff in an envelope and a file, put it in your bag, store it away. If you're at a hostel or somewhere you can lock it up, definitely lock it up. But when you're going around town or especially when you go out to get a drink or go to get to get dinner or explore and do the nightlife, if that's what you're into, make sure that you don't bring all your stuff. Don't bring your passport, don't bring all your IDs, don't bring all your credit cards. Because if you have all that in your wallet or all that in your pockets and you pickpocketed or you lose it, that's everything. And that is literally the first. It is part of my language, but that is not a fun time. Especially losing your passport. You can only get a one year passport or uh, you know, going to the embassy, you can get an emergency passport, but it's only good for one year. If you're traveling for a long period of time, that sucks. That's why I'm trying to get a second passport. It's just good to have a backup. And you know, there's, anyway, I'll get on to that later, but um, you definitely want to, you just want to be prepared when it comes to, you know, having extra cash, having multiple wallets. If you have a zippered pocket, always zipper, uh, zip up, your wallet or your IDs or your passport and stuff, always, anytime you're getting off a plane, a bus or a taxi, always, always, this is huge, always look back, look at the seat you're sitting in, and it's good habits practice all the time. You Like when you're traveling or you're not traveling, but look and double check, you have all your stuff. Check your pockets, I'm like cool, I got my phone, I got my GoPro, I got my, my wallet, I'm good to go. And then I know you can get distracted, especially 
when you're traveling on like these longer layovers and stuff, you can get really groggy, you can get really tired. So it's really important to practice this stuff when you're fully conscious and fully awake. And then when you're traveling, when you're tired, it's almost like muscle memory. You almost instantly go and double check you have your stuff. You can always double check your bag and everything. I mean, don't be OCD, don't be over paranoid, check your pocket like 15 times, but um, if you're going on 15 different buses, check your pocket 15 different times. I mean, like 15 times in a half an hour or something. But um, yeah, that's just like a really important thing is just, just be conscious of your surroundings. If you're in certain countries and you're backpacking and it's a poor country, try not to carry around a giant camera and just like, you know, like advertise, hey, I'm a tourist, you know, rob me or like, when you're on walking down the street, don't have your phone trying to GPS stuff. You can go into a store, then GPS where you're trying to go, get there. Don't be on the street and doing it. I've heard countless of times, I've heard count, countless times of other backpackers and travelers, um, when they're going down the street, someone on a scooter or a motorbike just drives by, it, takes their phone. Um, luckily that hasn't happened to me because I've heard this story so many times that when I'm walking and I'm trying to get directions, I try to keep my phone off to my side. I'm really conscious of my surroundings and making sure to be cool. I know where to go going or I go inside a store. I go into a convenience store, a restaurant or something, and then I check where I'm going. If they ask you, what are you doing in here? You just tell them, hey, I don't want to get my phone stolen. They might think you're weird, but I'd much rather be thought of as a weirdo. So those are some of the, the tips that I would recommend for the backpacker life, um, you know, guide to being a backpacker. Um, there's so many more, so many more things I could cover when it comes to backpacking and traveling. If you guys, you know, have any ideas or stuff you want me to go cover or just some, some things that you like, you definitely want to know about. Um, or if you have any personal questions you want to ask me, you can definitely hit me up on my social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and I think I have link, not LinkedIn, but on um, Twitter as well. And you guys can hit me up there message me, comments, uh, stuff in the comment box. If you like this video and you want to see more travel videos, more travel tips, travel vlogs, and travel hacks, just do, uh, do me a solid, hit that subscription, and three days a week, you'll be notified. Well, if you hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell icon, three days a week, you'll be notified that I am posting a video, and I will post it, you can check it out, hopefully it's helpful. I'm really trying to help you guys out as well as get some some cool content out to you guys. Um, I'll be traveling right now. I'm going throughout South uh, Southeast Asia, actually, yeah, and then going up to um, Northern Europe, you know, across Russia, over through um, Eastern Europe and Europe, and I'll be backpacking for the next six plus months, hopefully longer. We'll see how things go. Um, but if you guys want to come along for the journey, totally come check it out. Hit that subscribe button. All right, if you guys made it this far, thanks, awesome. Uh, peace out guys, NST, never stop traveling.